Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy and we are discussing uh, another uh, topic today uh, that is topic is same but in this is the second video on uh, polynomial. So I am going to discuss today some more about polynomial and hopefully you will enjoy it. So in last lecture we have left here only and in this lecture I am going to discuss about uh, the different type on the basis of terms. On basis of degree, we have discussed uh, last uh, lecture in last video, but uh, on basis of terms, so types of polynomials. So, types of polynomials is what? Polynomials. Types of polynomials. The first one is on the basis of what? On basis of number of terms. So, if a polynomial has only one term, then it is called monomials. So, first one is called monomials. The first one is called monomials. So, monomials. Monomials. A polynomial has only one term. Polynomial has only one term. Only one term called monomials. Called monomials. Monomials. Right now. For example, a 3x square, 5x to the power 4, 7x, etc., x to the power 100, etc., are all monomials because uh, there are only one terms. Now, the next one is binomials. Next one is binomials. So, binomials is what? Binomials. A polynomial having two terms. Polynomial has two terms, two terms called binomial, called binomial, right now, a polynomial has two terms called binomial, right, for example, uh, 3x square plus 5, 7x plus 9, 4x cube plus 7x, like this, and 5, yeah, 4x cube minus 1, like this, etc. This all has two terms, whatever the number of degree or uh, anything else that hardly matter, but number of terms are only two. That is the requirement of this polynomial. Now, the third or fourth one is uh, third one is called trinomial. 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 A polynomial having three terms only. Trinomials. A polynomial having three terms only, having three terms only, terms only, called trinomial, called trinomial, called trinomial, trinomials. For example, uh, 3x square plus 5x plus 7, three terms or 2x cube plus 9x minus 11 etc all are trinomials because there are three terms only and the fourth one is quadrinomials quadrinomials nomials a polynomial polynomial which has four terms which has four terms called quadrinomial called quadrinomial quadrinomial right now for example 3x cube plus 7x square minus 9x plus 11 four terms x4 plus 3x square plus 5x plus 9 like this these are called quadrinomials so quadri means four, quad means four. So quadrinomials, trinomials, binomials, monomials, I hope you understood it. Now there is one popular term that I would like to discuss here that is called zero of the polynomial. So let me describe this, zero of the polynomial, polynomial. What is that? Try to understand. Zero of polynomials. So if px be any polynomial, px be any polynomial polynomial then k is called 
जीरो ऑफ पोलिनोमियल जीरो ऑफ पोलिनोमियल पोलिनोमियल इफ वी पुट x इज इक्वल टू के द वैल्यू ऑफ पी एक्स वैल्यू ऑफ पी एक्स बिकम्स जीरो बिकम्स जीरो राइट सो इफ वी रिप्लेस x by k the value of polynomial will be zero and then we can we'll say the k is zero of the polynomial k is zero of the polynomial so if you put x is equal to k p k will be equal to zero or we can say if p k is equal to zero then k is called k is called zero of polynomial p x zero of polynomial px right na? it can be 1 zero or 2 zero or 3 zero depending upon the degree of polynomial so number of zeros depend upon the degree of polynomial but uh, zero of the polynomial is the value of x for which the polynomial becomes zero if you put x is equal to that value it will become zero then it is called zero of the polynomial okay i hope you got it for example if polynomial is given like x is equal to x plus 1 and if i put x is equal to minus 1 then what will happen p of minus 1 that is in place of minus 1 if i'll put uh, in place of x if you put minus 1 then here it will be minus 1 plus 1 and minus 1 plus 1 is equal to zero means p minus 1 is equal to 0 and therefore x is equal to minus 1 is zero of the polynomial zero of the polynomial right i hope you got it similarly uh, suppose a polynomial is given to you like uh, px is equal to x square minus 1 if you put x is equal to 1 it will be 1 square minus 1 that is zero if you will put uh, x is equal to minus 1 then also it will be equal to 0 minus 1 whole square minus 1 minus 1 whole square is also 1 1 minus 1 0 so here there are two values uh, which will make the equation 0 and therefore 1 and minus 1 both are zero of the polynomial here 1 and minus 1 both are zeros of the polynomial zeros of polynomial polynomial both are zeros of polynomial px is equal to x square minus 1 so we can say here because degree is 2 here degree is 2 and therefore there are two zeros maybe or may not be that number of zeros can be uh, so to find zeros what you need to do either this will satisfy or you can say the alternative method alternative method to find zeros to find zeros put px is equal to 0 because ultimately you have to find zero so you will have x square minus 1 is equal to 0 and therefore x square is equal to 1 and which is equal to x is equal to plus minus 1 so therefore 1 and minus 1 are zeros of polynomial zeros of polynomial right polynomials polynomial px zero of polynomial x square minus 1 x square minus 1 right so uh, it is not necessary that always zero will justify because somewhere let's say px is equal to another example i am taking x square plus 1 there is no real value of x for which this become zero here there is no value of x there is no value of x for which px become zero px become zero right now and therefore px is equal to x square plus 1 has no zero no zero there is no zero there is no value of x by putting which 
it becomes zero and therefore there is no zero so not necessary that always there will be zero of polynomial sometimes there may not be zero of the polynomial that is there is no value for which uh, that becomes zero why if you want to do and calculate it by alternating method alternative method this is third example i am taking here right so what you can put x square plus one is equal to zero to find zero and x square plus one x square is equal to minus one which is not possible is it possible a square of anything is positive always but cannot be negative is not possible and therefore no zero for this polynomial therefore no zero of this polynomial no zero for this polynomial right now so not necessary that always there will be zero but sometimes there may not be zero of any polynomial uh, and maybe number of uh, zeros will be lesser than if uh, someone uh, asks that whether 2 is zero of polynomial or not say if i have x square minus uh, 3x plus 2 this is a polynomial and someone asks whether 1 is zero of this polynomial so or not so if you will put x is equal to 1 it should come 0 if it will come 0 then there will be x is equal to 1 is 0 of polynomial if it will not be equal to 0 then we can say that uh, g x is equal to 1 is not 0 of the polynomial so this is the method in which you can check it or you can go ahead with this so px is equal to x square to check here remember this this is an important point just note out to check whether k is zero of polynomial zero of polynomial px we should put x is equal to k if pk is equal to zero then k is zero of polynomial k is zero of polynomial polynomial right k is zero of the polynomial otherwise it would be a zero of the polynomial so anyway if you put uh, that value and it will satisfy then it will be zero of the polynomial for example if i have x q minus 6 x square plus uh, 12 x minus 6 like this if it is written like this I have written this eleven x say here write eleven x only eleven x plus one. If you put x is equal to one, put x is equal to one, whether it is zero or polynomial, I want to check it. So just put x is equal to one, p one is equal to 1q minus 6 into 1 square plus 11 into 1 minus 6 that is 1 minus 6 plus 11 minus 6 11 plus 1 12 minus 12 becomes 0 so 1 is equal to 0 p 1 is equal to 0 and therefore 1 is 0 of the polynomial if someone asks p is equal to 2 then what will happen 2q minus 6 plus 11 into 2 minus 6 that will be 8 minus 2 to the 4 4 6 are 24 and that will be 11 into 2 22 plus 6 right now so each it will be 0 22 plus 8 is 30 30 and my uh, 24 minus 6 is also 30 this is negative sign so 30 minus 30 is 0 and therefore uh, p2 is also 0 if i check it for p3 then what will happen 3q minus 6 into 3 square plus 11 into 3 minus 6 3 q is 27 3 into a square 3 square 9 9 into 6 is 54 plus 33 minus 6 33 plus 27 is 60 and 54 minus 6 is uh, plus 6 is also 60 60 minus 60 becomes 0 and therefore x is equal to 1 2 3 are zeros of polynomial zeros of polynomial polynomial right now if you put any other value and uh, if it will not equal to zero 
say I am going to put it for p is equal to 0, x is equal to 0 and that polynomial if I will put here uh, that will be 0 q and uh, minus 6 into 0 square plus 11 into 0 minus 6 and that is not equal to 0. What is that? That is minus 6 which is not equal to 0 and therefore which is equal to minus 6 which is not equal to 0 and therefore x is equal to 0 is not of the polynomial x is equal to 0 is not 0 of polynomial 0 of polynomial polynomial yeah, 0 0 with from a let us see your value let us p x is equal to minus 1 if you will put minus 1 then that will be minus q minus 6 into minus 1 square plus 11 into minus 1 minus in that case it will be negative 1 and one minus 1 square is positive 6 into 1 that is 6 and 11 into 1 minus 11 and minus 6 11 and 12 23 minus 24 so it will be 24 exactly a minus 24 which is not equal to 0 and therefore x is equal to minus 1 is not 0 of the polynomial not 0 of the polynomial so many examples has been taken and you are definitely able to understand that uh, whether how to say that some constant is 0 of the polynomial or not just the way is that if you put a replace x by that constant if it will become 0 then it is a 0 of the polynomial if it will not be equal to 0, then it won't be 0 of the polynomial. I hope you got it. Now, let us uh, solve some questions from the exercise and then definitely you will be able to understand it and everything. Exercise 2.2 Exercise 2.2 I am going to discuss here today and uh, that is from NCR clearly. So, the first question uh, was given here find the value of polynomial find the value of polynomial polynomial 5x minus 4x square plus 3 at first one x is equal to 0 second portion age x is equal to minus 1 and the third one age x is equal to 2 so we have to find the value right now so we have to put this x in place of x i should put 0 so first question solution i am writing here for x is equal to 0 polynomial this will be 5 into 0 minus 4 into 0 square plus 3 that will be 0 minus 0 plus 3 is 3 so value will be 3 value of polynomial is equal to 3 now the second one for x is equal to minus 1 for x is equal to minus 1 the value will be value of polynomial will be you should write here for x is equal to minus 1 the value of polynomial let me write the complete thing the value of polynomial polynomial 5x minus 4x cube plus 3 is equal to what that will be 5 into minus 1 minus 4 into minus 1 q plus 3 that will be minus 5 and minus 1 whole q is uh, minus 1 so minus minus plus 4 and plus 3 4 plus 3 7 minus 5 is 2 so answer is 2 similarly for x is equal to third part third part is for x is equal to 2 the value of polynomial value of polynomial 5x minus 4x cube plus 3 the value of polynomial is given by what if you put x is equal to 2 that will be 5 into 2 10 and 2 q is 8 8 into 4 is 32 plus 3 so this is 13 minus 32 13 minus 32 is minus 19 that will be the answer of this question so hopefully you got it right now now next question is there and question number two so let us discuss question number two find p0 
P1 and P2 and P2 for each of the following polynomial for each of the following polynomial polynomial right so the first one is given here p y is equal to y square minus y plus 1 now we have to find the value of p 0 p 0 means in place of this i will put 0 0 minus 0 plus 1 that is 1 Similarly, I have to find P1. So, in place of Y, we will put 1. Y in square minus 1 plus 1, that is 1. And P2, that is in place of Y, we will put 2. 2 square minus 2 plus 1. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. So, that will be answer of the first question. Now, for second question, uh, which is given here. Uh, let me write this. Second question that was given pt polynomial is terms of t only and that is 2 plus t plus 2t square minus t cube if you find p0 then in place of t i should put 0 then 2 plus 0 plus 0 here it will be 0 power anything is 0 so that will be 2 no need to write more details p1 is in place of t you should put 1 so 2 plus 1 plus 2 into 1 square plus minus 1 cube that will be 1 and 1 cancel and 2 plus 2 is 4 so answer is 4 now p2 is equal to 2 plus in place of t will put 2 2 into 2 square minus 2 cube that is 4 and this is 4 into 2 8 4 plus 8 minus 8 that will be 4 also so here p0 p1 and p2 has been calculated I hope you got it. Now the next one is third one that is what? Try to understand. Third one is there and third one is px is equal to given x cube. If you will find p0 that will be 0 q that is 0. p1 that is 1 q which is 1 and p2 that is 2 q which is 8. I hope you got it. Now the next question is uh, question number 4 and in question number 4 what is given that px is equal to px is given as x minus 1 and x plus 1 if you will put p0 p0 means what then p0 is equal to 0 minus 1 into 0 plus 1 that is minus 1 into plus 1 which is minus 1 p1 is equal to 1 minus 1 into 1 plus 1 that is 0 into 2 is equal to 0 and p2 is equal to 2 minus 1 into 2 plus 1 so that is 2 minus 1 is 1 into 3 that is 3 and that will be the answer of this question so hopefully you got this now the next question is third question and third question is given here that uh, Verify whether the following zero. Verify whether. Verify whether the following zero. Following are zeros. Following are zeros of the polynomial of the polynomial polynomial against indicated against polynomial against indicated term indicated term indicated them right now polynomial against indicated them okay so the first one is the first question is even here that px is equal to 3x plus 1 and x is minus 1 by 3 so if we put what is the criteria in which we can check whether someone is 0 or k is 0 or polynomial or not you should put x is equal to minus 1 by 3 and if it will be 0 then it will be a 0 of the polynomial so in next one uh, p x is equal to p of minus 1 by 3 
that is 3 times of minus 1 by 3 plus 1, 3, 3 gets, and that is minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0. Since it is 0 and therefore x is equal to minus 1 by 3 is 0 of polynomial, 0 of polynomial, which one? px is equal to 3x plus 1. I hope you got it. Similarly, uh, we will have another question that is second question is there and second question is px is equal to 5x minus 5 and x is equal to given that 4 by 5. If you put x is equal to 4 by 5 then that will be 5 into 4 by 5 minus 5 or 5 5 cancel and that will remain 4 minus 5 which is not equal to 0 and therefore x is equal to 4 by 5 is not 0 of polynomial 0 of polynomial which one px is equal to 5x minus 5 okay now the third question is I hope you are getting this point. Okay. The third question is px is equal to x square minus 1 and x is equal to 1 and minus 1. If I put p1 is equal to there, then this will be 1 square minus 1, which is 0, and p of minus 1, then that will be minus 1 whole square minus 1. That will be also 0 because minus 1 whole square is also 1, and therefore x is equal to 1 and minus 1 are zeros of zero job px right now that will be the answer polynomial that is px now the next question is there and question number four right now question number four is there and four is here given that px is equal to x plus one and x minus two and x is given one minus one and two so if you put p is equal to minus 1, then that will be minus 1 plus 1, minus 1 minus 2. In that case, this will be 0 into minus 3, that will be 0. And if you put x is equal to 2, then what will happen? That will be 2 plus 1. Then that will be and 2 minus 2, that will be 3 into 0, that will be also 0. So, since both of them are satisfying the equation and therefore both of them are 0 of polynomial and therefore x is equal to minus 1 and 2 are 0 of polynomial, polynomial, which one? px. No need to write the RHS, you can just write px, that is the same thing. And question number 5 is given, px is equal to x square and x is given 0. Yes, p is equal to 0 square that is 0 and therefore x is equal to 0 is 0 of polynomial polynomial px. Right? Okay. Now question number 6 you have and uh, see what is that. Question number 6. In that one it is given that px is equal to px is equal to lx plus m and x is equal to minus m by l. If you put x is equal to minus m by l, that will be l into minus m by l plus m. l l cancel and that will be minus m plus m which is 0 and therefore x is equal to minus m by s. Minus m by l is 0 of px. You can say shortly. No, so that is the answer. Now the next question is question number seven, and the seventh question is given here. That uh, seven question is given like uh, p x is equal to three x square minus one, x is equal to minus one by root three and two by root three. So if I'll put x is equal to minus 1 by root 3, then this will be 3 into minus 1 by root 3 whole square minus 1. 3 into 1 minus square is plus and root 3 square will be 3 minus 1. So 3, 3 cancel, 1 minus 1 is 0. Right now? And p, 2 by 3, 2 by root 3. If I put here, 
then what will happen 3 into 2 by root 3 whole square minus 1 that is 3 into 4 by 3 minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 which is 3 and 3 is not equal to 0. So one of them is 0 but other of them is not 0. So we will write here accordingly that here px is equal to minus 1 by root 3 is a 0 of polynomial 0 of polynomial while x is equal to minus 2 by root 3 x is equal to 2 by root 3 is x is equal to 2 by 3 is not 0 of polynomial not 0 of polynomial right so you can write it like this and one more question is there that is question number 8 which is given here px is equal to 2x plus 1 and x is equal to half if you put x is equal to half there then that will be 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 2 to cancel and here it will be left 1 plus 1 that is 2 which is not equal to 0 and therefore x is equal to 1 by 2 is not 0 of polynomial not 0 of polynomial polynomial px is equal to 2x plus polynomial px simply no need to write this okay so i hope you got it there is one more question and that i would like to discuss here that uh, question is given here 4 question number 4 and fourth question is given here find 0 of polynomial in each of the following case here zeros are given but in this question you have to find zeros of the polynomial find 0 of the polynomial polynomial in each of the following cases in each of the following cases following cases right so the first question is given here that was that is px is equal to x plus 5 so to find 0 what we need to do put px is equal to 0 as i said earlier so x plus 5 is equal to 0 and therefore x is equal to minus 5 is a 0 of polynomial i hope you got it now the second question is there and second question is like here given that px is equal to x minus 5 again the same thing you put px is equal to 0 and you will get x minus 5 is equal to 0 and therefore x is equal to 5 is 0 of the polynomial so i hope you got it that simple if you put here just to verify that if you put here 5 5 minus 5 will be 0 and that is the criteria so you will be able to write it nicely just put it equal to 0 and you will be able to get the answer of the question right now so next question i am going to take on here that is question number 3 and what is that px is given as 2x plus 5 so put px is equal to 0 and you will be able to 2x plus 5 is equal to 0 and that can be written as 2x is equal to minus 5 and then x is equal to minus 5 by 2 that will be 0 of the polynomial so that will be answer i hope you got it now fourth question is there and what is that fourth question try to understand fourth question is given as px is equal to 3x minus 2 okay so put 3x minus 2 is equal to 0 you will get 3x is equal to 2 and therefore x is equal to 2 by 3 3 is multiplied with x so it will be divide other side and that will be answer so simple na? isn't it so that's too simple and uh, you people are really uh, enjoy it definitely and uh, when you will do it then definitely you will be able to enjoy it so fifth question is given as px is equal to 3x so put 
px is equal to 0 as usual. So 3x is equal to 0. It means 3 will go this side and it will divide by 0. So x is equal to 0. That will be the answer to this question. Now the sixth one is, what is sixth one? Let me write the sixth question. Sixth question is given here that px is equal to ax where a is not equal to 0. So again if you will put it that uh, px is equal to 0, put px is equal to 0 that will give ax is equal to 0. It is similar like since a is not equal to 0 so a will divide this side x is equal to 0 that will be answer. Now question number 7 and what is that try to understand. Question number 7 is px is equal to cx plus d where c is not equal to 0 and c and d are real numbers are real numbers then how to deal with this question real numbers so to find 0 what we need to do put px is equal to 0 and that will give cx plus d is equal to 0 that is cx is equal to minus d and x is equal to minus d by c that will be the answer you know i hope you got it there is no problem at all in doing all these questions i hope so and uh, you will be able to enjoy it because uh, you know how to deal with the questions and you learn each and everything in this topic and uh, if since you learn each and everything and therefore uh, you must be confident about that i hope you got it so that's all in this topic and uh, hopefully you have enjoyed this all the questions are there I remember coefficient here why c is not equal to 0 given because if c will be 0 c is not equal to 0 is a, some conditions which is given if c is equal to 0 then you cannot divide by c because you cannot divide by 0 any finite number remember this important thing. any finite number divided can't be divided by can't be divided by zero divided by zero if we be because the result will be infinite can't be divided by zero say uh, as the result will be the result will be infinity infinite as the result will be infinity as the result will be infinity result will be infinity infinity and symbol of infinity is like this so yeah that's all in this lecture i hope you got it right now so video and we'll see in the next class and uh, we will discuss some more about the polynomial that is remainder theorem thank you thank you very much god bless keep watching this video and subscribe this channel as well and uh, definitely you will have a bright future uh, along with me thank you